Hi, it's Guy DiMartino, a Northwest Indiana estate planning and probate lawyer. If you ever have any questions about an estate plan or a probate matter, you can always chat with me. Uh, you can set an appointment at indianastatemeeting.com. Today I'm going to talk about one of the driving factors when folks start to uh, dispute a matter in probate. So one of the areas that uh, brings a lot of consternation and strife between family members has to do with personal property, has to do with the stuff of the decedent. Many times it, money is not the issue, but it is some type of sentimental value. You know, maybe there's some china or maybe there's a piece of furniture that uh, you know one of the children or one of the family members really liked or remembered from childhood. So they have this emotional attachment to uh, this piece of personal property and then they start to fight with the other siblings or other family members over the distribution of the personal property and things along those lines. And this is something that many times spurs a phone call to my office. And one of the things that you have to do if you're on the other side of this, if you are somebody who is, you know, attached to this uh, emotional uh, piece of property, is you really have to take a step back and look at it as a business decision. If you start to get uh, lawyers involved over something that really doesn't have a lot of uh, face value, it can cost you a lot of money. Once you start to get lawyers involved and there starts to be a dispute uh, regarding, uh, you know, this type of stuff, a lot of times it can destroy families. And, you know, right now it could be a heated moment, but in five years, do you really want to not have a relationship with a family members over an ashtray or over another piece of furniture? So that is something that you just got to keep in mind. Now, if you're somebody who is thinking about your estate plan, there's many ways that you can handle this issue. Uh, typically, I don't recommend that you put all this stuff within a will because you don't know, uh, you know how long you're going to have this stuff. And then people will say, well, what happened to the stuff? Is the stuff missing? But uh, some of the ways that you can handle these issues, number one, is you can gift your stuff towards the end of your life to your family members. Uh, and you can say, I, I want you to take this. The other thing you can do is you can put down a list or let your wishes be known uh, in a, a document and have that out there. Or you can call and speak to your, your different family members and let them know uh, what you want or your intention. You can do things along those lines. That might not stop your family members from fighting, but if they really do know your wishes and if you're able to articulate them, preferably in writing, hopefully they will abide by your wishes for the peace in the family. Again, except for big items of personal property, I, I typically don't re recommend that you list everything that you have and put it in your will, but you can do that outside the will, even though it's not you know, uh, uh, legally binding. I think that when people look at this issue, if there is a dispute that is um, brought up, I think that, you know, your wishes will probably be upheld somewhere along the line. If you have any questions about Indiana state planning or probate matter, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.